Generally speaking, when the house looks great and you price it perfectly, it will sell quickly. Is it good or bad if your home sells quickly? Okay, this is a good topic because it's happened many times where, let's paint the picture. So here's the situation. You're a homeowner. This happens often. You're a homeowner. We tell you how much your house is worth. You're surprised that it might actually sell for that much and you're okay with it. Um, Then we list it. Sells in a couple days. Now you question whether or not it was enough money. So real. So two days ago. You think, wow, that's really impressive. If I can get that, I'll be happy. Two days later, I don't know if I got enough money for it. So it's very normal to feel this way. And I can completely understand why people do. But generally speaking, when the house looks great and you price it perfectly, it will sell quickly. And that's the key. What a lot of people don't understand and we hear it because we do sell our homes much quicker than the average. And that's because when you walk into it, It feels good. It looks good. It's been marketed well. So often we'll sell a home in a short time period. So as an example, the property we listed last week, it sold with multiple offers in 24 hours or 30 hours from listing and listed at a valuation that was fair for seller and fair for buyer, but higher than maybe what somebody else would have told them the house is worth. Yeah. <clears throat> it sold for more than that amount. We got over the asking price and the seller combats a little bit and saying, well, maybe we should wait till the end of the open houses. Maybe we should wait till those other showings come through. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, I understand and I sympathize with the fact that you think or you might believe that somebody else would also be interested, but it doesn't mean that that they're going to pay more or it doesn't mean that they're going to even come up with an offer. No, especially when you're in competition. If you have... Oh, for sure. And in that case, there were multiple offers. So you run the risk of... The most likely time for you to get multiple offers is very early in the listing process. Yes. And the longer the listing stays on, the higher the odds that you will get less money. So selling the house quickly is the goal. Well, and that's our job. So if we if we do it quickly and everything goes smoothly, that's what that's why we get paid, right? And if you if if as a real estate agent, if we take the time up front and do all the work, you know that traditional upside down pyramid thing, right? So you do all the work, you prepare the home, you stage it, you clean it, you make it look amazing. You prepare good marketing, all the photos, the video, all the online advertising, you do the open houses, all those little things trickle down to the very bottom of that upside down pyramid. And that tiny little triangle at the bottom represents the amount of time it takes to sell. So if you put in all the time up here, it will sell quickly. And that process becomes much more enjoyable and successful. Now, if you don't, you take you shortcut the whole system. The big part at the bottom represents a lot of time. It takes forever to sell. It's nowhere near as successful. But yeah, so I, I think from a seller's perspective, I completely get it. I understand why they may question whether or not they should have or should accept an offer if it comes in really quick. Um, but just, you know, while... If things are done right, it's common for that to happen. You should make sure that everything is, you know, that you are getting good value for the house. So make sure you're hiring somebody that has shown you proof that, you know, the price is right. Um, What kind of muffin did you have? I already told you. Carrot. Now it got got me thinking about muffins. Yeah, it was good. Anyways, I'm just trying to convey a message here that selling quickly is not a bad thing. If everything's done right, it should sell relatively quick.